these ones who have stolen that which I gave in truth unto my people shall be given into the abyss of remorse for all their remaining days and then they shall be judged with justice. May the light be given in trance to shine around about you that you be given into vision for the remaining days of your experience upon that place are numbered. I am. Forward. Samanda. Peace, Thomas, for I am come. I am Samanda of the Sacred Circle of Infinity, for I am come again as one with the Most High Living God slash Adam slash Father. Man will never again return unto the unplowing and the ignorance that has been his downfall. Never again shall the darkness keep man bound from walking within the lighted presence that I am. Each must choose, each must decide. Always man will cast to the side that which does not suit his view, his way, his opinion, his new laws. It matters not one whit. Nothing shall be changed for herein lies the truth of the matter, plain for all to see. All who have eyes to see and ears to hear shall receive the message and be increased thereby. Each may come into knowing and therein be most grateful, for these are the instructions you have pleaded for and at last you have that which you have wanted, for lo, these ends of time. Man has struggled in his turmoil and conflict and warring nature. Man has lusted after women without shame and now lusts after man in like manner, you have entered into the pit of darkness and you must return to living according to these laws of God, as they were given unto thee for thine greater good. You have been careless and thoughtless and have trampled the holy word of God under thine feet. No longer shall you do this in ignorance, each shall act responsibly in their decisions to remain in darkness. And the decisions made in conscious error shall be the most painful of all. The soul shall cry out at that hour when standing in the presence of the mighty I am. We weep, for you and plead with you to hear, to take heed, to change. You are responsible and yet you have behaved irresponsibly. Each shall be given to face the choices and the consequences shall return unto thee. Do you recognize that the hosts of heaven have been sent? Do you acknowledge that God slash heaven has returned to the once beauteous jewel to bring order out of the chaos of this ending cycle? Why do you not believe that I am come again? Has it not been prophesied? How did you think I would return? Did you think to one day turn on 60 minutes perhaps and see me speaking with Mike Wallace? Did you think that one day you would turn on TV and see me preaching from the stage of the Crystal Cathedral? Come now, times have not changed so much, the crucifixion would take half the time. I have not said that I am come again upon that place. I have said that I am returned with the heavenly hosts, as promised long ago, and we are above your now polluted and troubled planet transmitting forth instructions for your very freedom, survival, and godness. Will you listen? Will you listen? What must be done in order that you will listen to the message? Has it not been said that by their fruits you shall know them? Herein is your life raft. We do not come to force anything upon you, we come to offer instruction and tell you the way that it truly is. Man may do what he will, as he has done to this point. It takes no brilliant mind to see that you are in most grave circumstance. Why will you not consider the messages that are offered for your protection and wisdom? The laws of God are fixed. Immutable. Man may change what he will but he will not change the laws of God, for they are that which was given for balance within the creation. Man has soiled that which has been given into his care for his schoolwardship. Herein you shall find the laws clearly outlined. There is no room for misunderstanding the message. There are no little gray areas for you to move around in. If you violate the laws after completing this document you shall do so willingly, knowingly, and therein shall be consequences for those actions. God is most forgiving for actions done in ignorance. Willful violation of the laws is entirely a different matter. It is the better part of wisdom to heed this warning, for it is most grave indeed. We are at the final hours of the planetary cycle. Choices will be made by man that shall affect him for eons in your future counting. Be most cautious when seeking the momentary thrill, for the excitement you seek shall not satisfy you in the countless generations of recycling and rebirths before you, as you learn well the lessons you so carelessly refused to learn this time around. Fleshly pleasures are fleeting, the soul is infinite, and in the cosmic realms of light, where we dwell, infinity is a long time indeed. Ponder it. Where do you wish to spend your time? Upon what do you wish to gaze? In the ending will your ego-filled and willful ways have been worth the pain you shall experience in the recycling of rebirth? Why does man always think that he knows better than God? Foolish, foolish man. I do not come here to chide you. 
I come to plead with you on bended knee, these are your instructions, clearly given in full radiance of the Father's presence. These are no abstract concepts, for you to struggle with, read them, learn them, live them. To return to the radiance which I am, the laws are truly the only way in which to live. The laws are the ultimate in logic and reason. The laws work. Has your way worked? Oh! Look around you, look at your planet. Perhaps you should take the next shuttle flight, if it is not cancelled due to faulty equipment, and view your very atmosphere from great distance and you shall see, how man's way has worked thus far. You are in most dangerous waters and the instruction we bring with total love is offered to bring you back unto the presence of Holy God. Why do you resist so? Beloved, we are here. I am returned. I am returned with the heavenly hosts and with the Father slash Adam. Listen to the words we bring for there in his light. Man has walked the darkened pathways for too long. Return to the ways that shall see you through unto the lighted realms wherein I dwell. The time grows most short indeed and the hour for deciding is upon you. Which path shall you walk? Come, walk the good red road, walk the lighted pathway according to the laws he ran and you shall know God. I place my seal upon these words. I am Isu Jesus Emmanuel Sananda of the Christed Sacred Circle of Infinity and One with the Father. Blessings unto all in whose hands these words are placed, for you have found your very soul's freedom therein. Walk most gently the pathway before you and treat your brother, as you would be treated, for you are, in truth, one. Salu. Understanding the laws of God and the creation also called the laws of balance. I the highest command of the law of the creation is. Achieve the wisdom of knowledge in as much, as this will enable you to wisely follow the laws of the creation. This means to seek and demand the truth be shown to you, so that you must develop that ability to discern and judge all information, actions and behavior with self and others which go against the laws of balance given forth by God and the creation. This also means, that, when information is put before your attention, you must ask the Father within you to show you, whether or not it is true and ask for the Father to give you verification you need for understanding the truth in all information and situations which he puts before you. This means you must have the courage and the determination to conquer the fear, apathy and ignorance within your altered ego to achieve the wisdom of knowledge of truth. Second, the highest command of the law of God is. You shall honor God, as the ruler of the human races and follow his laws, for he is the king of wisdom. 1. You shall have no other gods than the God creator before you and abide with the laws of the creation which encompasses all. Also known as the law of one. This means you must recognize that your soul existence and your life on this plane is only possible by the wondrous grace of God, your creator. You must recognize and honor His holy presence within you and all that is, because it is by His holy grace that you shall be able to receive His guidance and instructions for while your service is to God and the creation to maintain the glory of light and love and life in constant enfoldment of the glorious mystery of the One. In other words, you will learn to understand and be always connected with the oneness of all that is in creation. Now, to remember and understand this, the law of one, you must realize that all beings and creations are equal or even in reflection of and importance to the one God, only that each is simply different in abilities, talents, and vainness, as an expression of the one all that is. Contrary to perhaps your own opinion, you as a who man, higher universal man are not superior or inferior in importance to the tree, the rock, the bird or any other being or creation of the one. You are simply one of the Holy Father's vehicles of motion for expanding and experiencing the joy of continuous enfoldment of the creation. You see, there cannot exist any separation, all come from the one great source of all the creation and all will return to our source, the one. Also, you must understand the true nature of the laws of balance given forth by our Father, as it relates to humans granted with the gift of free will. For example, if all humans were removed from this planet, do you think that the mineral, plant and animal kingdoms would remain in balance? The correct answer is most definitely yes. Because they belong to the kingdom of God which was created to maintain a wondrous planet in balance. You, as humans who were given free will and reasoning ability to choose to balance within the laws, or not, were also sent to God's creation as guardians. What have you done to her by choosing to live in the lie of destruction which is the Antichrist? Are you proud of the pollution you pour into her waters, and the soils and air space? This is the very water, soil and air space you depend on, for your physical survival.